Hello beautiful and welcome back to another plan with me this week in the new year of 2022. Here you can see that I am using a Hobonichi Cousin Avec and yes I have not planned my or designed my dashboard yet but let's get into this. So this is my December monthly spread. I decided to use decorative stickers and washies as you can see here just to decorate it because I have no idea what to do to or what kits or sticker to use for that so this was our first week then this was just last week on the plan with me and I will link that video down below if you are interested to see how I accomplished that page and I'm just gonna show you my dailies because I'm pretty sure last video I didn't show you how I decide to do it so right now you could see the purples are the ones that I've done last week for my dailies I still don't know how I would plan my dailies I'm not sure to be honest of the layouts that I've used last week because the thing is as you can see it's just so everywhere it's hard to see like I know I like this part here which is the time for the days of what you do but this area and this little era is just so skewed off like it's not connected and just don't know what to do with it so I know I have like a whole year to play around with it until I find my planner piece but this week we are not going to use any kits so I decided to go rogue and be creative for this week's spread and decide to use these little cute tiny card cardstock <laughs> sorry in this box they are available in our shop under curated brands and there are many various themes but this theme here is more of an art deco type of painting I'm going to show you guys what's in here. I'm going to take a few out and just let you guys see what to expect. So all these paintings are individual, so there's no duplicates. There's a hundred cardstock in each little box. This is listed under as vintage storybook collection cards. There's 10 other themes or variations of these little books. They're super cute and I just love them because it's just so easy that you could use it as like a faux box. I'm going to show you a few that I have that I did collect and purchase. So this is Victoria and I have Childhood and the last box I believe I have is Precious Books. So as I said there are different themes. So Precious Books is mostly like vintage scripts or any old books pages and I believe the Childrenhood is mostly vintage paintings of children or antiques photos of children and lastly Victoria one I believe it's like vintage paintings too like really old paintings as you can see here or prints I'm just gonna tidy up here so we can make room to do our weekly spread I've already picked out the ones that I want to use for this week because it does have a color theme. Decide to use do a yellow and peach color theme. So right now I'm just placing out the card. As you can see, it is not exactly to the same width of each column. It's a little bit smaller by one block. So here I'm just deciding if I want to cover the left side where all the numbers are and leave the right side with a, a space. Okay, it's time to start gluing these babies down before I glue them down permanently I usually do lay them all out and arrange them to the way I like it to be laid out in the weekly spread once I'm happy with it I will start gluing right now I just realized I have more boxes more of these cards than I needed Now I'm just going to put a weight on it so the glue will set. I'm going to work on my headers now. So before I put the headers down, I want a washi border on the top of the page. The headers we're going to use for this week kit is our Claire foiled headers here. I do have to cut it down because the column of the Hobonichi columns are a lot smaller than your typical 1.5 column. So 
So it's time to play with washi, my favorite part also. I do love doing all this, first the faux boxes, then the washi. So with the washi I make, um, I use it as borders for the faux boxes, but also to section off other sections of my today's and to-do list on my weekly spread. I like to use a scatter method, meaning as you can see here, all my full boxes are in a diagonal pattern going down and up and following that will be my to-do list and after that will be my today list. So there is a method to this madness as I always say, but it just works well for me and honestly I like how it looks. It just makes the weekly spread look a lot fuller. Here I'm just using my vertical washi as check boxes because they are small enough for the Hobonichis. Time to put down my scripts of the to-dos and todays. Once I've done the to-dos, now I'm going to work on the header for the todays. I decided to use a darker peach color for the background of the header just to make it stand out a bit more so that I know the events are happening on these days. Here I have to turn the planner around. It's because the way the washi roll rolls out, I am right handed. So it's hard for me to roll it out on the opposite way where my thumbs are um, just in the way. So it's just easier for me to just do it upside down and it's easier for me to roll from left to right. And we're just gonna finish the headers with the Today Script stickers. Now that I have finished my weekly columns, I'm gonna focus on working on the sidebar. I usually use the sidebar for next week or any habit tracking or um, errands that I have to do during the week but there's no specific deadline to it for this week. This week I decided to track my spending for this week. I track my expenses and spending on a monthly basis but now I want to break it down a bit more just to see how I spend and what I spend mostly on every week. I think this will help me fine tune my budget and my weekly spending so that hopefully at the end I could save more than spend more. As I say, awareness is always the key. That's it. I love, love, love how this weekly spread turned out. Even though it's a no kit, I had fun with my washies. And the color scheme is just nice and soft with the peaches and the light yellow. I'm going to fill it out off camera. So here it is. As you can see, it's not fully done because I have no idea what's going to happen on that day until we do arrive to that day. So as you can see, my Mondays and Tuesdays are usually full, but then when it gets to Wednesday or even the weekends here, it does get a little bit empty because I haven't really planned or decide what to do on the weekend yet. I hope you guys enjoy watching this as much as I enjoy decorating my weekly spread using no kit. I do find it extremely hard to decorate a weekly spread without a kit. However, it is very rewarding at the end. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys next week. Bye!